cadence of conflict Asia September 18, 2017. China's situation is growing more and more similar to North Korea's. They seek to match the U.S. in military strength, but aim to do so without U.S. economics. Without the economics, it will be hard to match anything. Slowly but surely, the U.S. is chipping away at money going into China. Stocks were up in China, especially recently. Shenzhen is faring quite well. But Trump managed to block a Chinese company from buying a U.S. chipmaker, Lattice. This is just the beginning, not only for blocked deals both in the U.S. and elsewhere, but also in bad international press against China. Taiwan isn't helping. 500 Taiwanese in New York protested the island not being a U.N. member claiming that Palestine is not a state, but has a membership. If Taiwan were to join the UN, it would be in the top 25% largest populations. But pushing these matters will likely have no impact, other than bad press against China. This week, North Korea launched again, scaring Japanese even more, making it even harder to defend the Kim dynasty. China doesn't want to lose a buffer that would put a stronger U.S. ally on its border, nor deal with an influx of refugees. But China may have more than the situation with the U.S. and North Korea to worry about. The dormant volcano on North Korea's side of the China border has been rumbling. There's nothing like a small act of God to settle all disputes. And that's the cadence of the conflict already seen in the Pacific.